I'm Lana. Over the summer, uh, Self Harm UK has been running the Illumina Summer Series, a series of videos around self harm, um, covering everything from depression to anxiety to scars and medication. Um, and you guys really seem to love those videos. And so, what we want to do is continue just uploading videos um, to the Youthscape YouTube channel, chatting about self harm and mental health. Um, and Self Harm UK have uh, asked me to speak on sexuality and self harm. And the reason for that is because unfortunately, LGBTQ people, that's uh, lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, queer or questioning, um, LGBTQ people are at a high risk of struggling with mental health and self-harm. Um, struggling with mental health can be anything from depression to anxiety to self-harm, suicidal thoughts. Um, and the reason for that, I mean, there's lots of different reasons and they're completely varied. Um, but some of those reasons, um, one could be isolation, a feeling of isolation. So I think for quite a few LGBTQ people, um, it's an incredibly lonely process to maybe figure out their sexuality, to um, explore that question that um, if you don't have somebody to talk to or um, if it's all just up in here as you're trying to figure it out, actually it can feel quite isolating and lonely to be going through that. Um, it can also be quite lonely if you don't have any um, friends uh, who are LGBTQ or maybe if you don't have any friends that you feel like you can talk to about it in general. Um, a second reason why people might struggle with mental health if they're LGBTQ um, is the experience of homophobia, biphobia or transphobia. Unfortunately, discrimination against LGBTQ people is still prevalent in the UK and across the world. And so, you know, that experience of bullying can be um, incredibly painful and can really knock people's self-worth or sense of identity. Um, and that can lead to a real struggle with mental health. Um, and a third reason might be the reaction from friends or family. Um, some people have an amazing response from friends or family when they come out and their friends and, and, and family are very loving and accepting, but some people just don't get that lucky. And that rejection from those that you care about and those you love can be incredibly painful um, and again, have a real um, knock on effect on their mental health. Um, so they're just um, a few of many different reasons why LGBTQ people across the across the country and across the world struggle with mental health. Um, and so I just wanted to give in this video a couple of quick pieces of advice. Um, so whether you are LGBTQ and you're struggling with some of this, or maybe you are a friend of someone who is struggling with um, their kind of mental health in relation to their sexuality, um, I hope some of this is helpful for you. So the first piece of advice is to talk to someone. And I know that is easier said than done. Um, but finding a friend or family member to talk to is so important. Finding someone who you can um, uh, journey with, who uh, you can kind of unpack all that's going up on in your head, um, all that's going on in life, the experiences you're having, any struggles that you're facing, having somebody to share that with, somebody you trust and um, somebody who loves and accepts you, having somebody who you can yeah, journey through that with is so important and so helpful for your um, mental health. Um, but if you're somebody who maybe doesn't have a friend or family member you feel like you could talk to or it'd be safe to talk to, um, then maybe try and find some sort of a charity or organisation, maybe Self Harm UK um, or somebody else across the country. There are so many organisations and charities who would love to support you and want to be there for you to talk to if you need it. I'll put a list of lots of different um, groups and organisations in the description box below, so do go and check those out if that would be helpful for you. Um, and my second piece of advice really is to find an LGBTQ group, um, which I know sounds like an odd thing to say, um, but actually I think for for LGBTQ people, one of the struggles is feeling maybe like you're the only one, um, feeling like you're the only uh, LGBTQ person in your friendship group or in your school or at work or in your family. Um, and actually meeting with another group of people who might have a similar life experience to you or have a similar story or, uh, or sort of understanding as you can be really powerful in reminding you that you are not alone in this, that there are other LGBT people out there and there are other LGBT people out there who are struggling with mental health. Um, that kind of important reminder, but also a group where you can um, chat honestly and openly about your experiences to a group of people who might get it um, a little easier. 
Um, so they're kind of my main two piece of advice. Um, so I hope some of that might be helpful for you. If you have any queries or questions, please feel free to email us at um, info at selfharm.co.uk. We'd love to hear from you. Um, and keep watching the Youthscape YouTube channel for more videos. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, and we will see you again soon with another video. Bye.